Hey guys, uh, this is kind of an unexpected video, but um, I had an awesome surprise last night. Uh, as I mentioned before, Logan and I are buying Christmas presents early because it's the only way that we will have a Christmas for sure uh, at the end of the year because we have to order stuff from overseas and it takes a couple months to come in and half the time it doesn't come in at all. So it's just a lot less stressful to buy it in advance. So yesterday, he his package for me came in, and he was wrapping it up, and he ended up giving me one thing because he thought it was too small and that it wasn't right, and so he had a double check with me, even though I told him, if it's on my list, it's okay, don't worry about it, just give it to me at Christmas. But since it's makeup, that's all right, um, no biggie, I needed makeup, and it's eyeshadow, so I'll show you guys what that is in a second. The other thing is, um, he had ordered me an Edward Scissorhands Pop Funko. Now, I've been after the Edward Scissorhands, and I'm really, really after the crow. And every time we try to buy the crow, it's sold out. I just can't find it. So he was buying me the Edward Scissorhands, and they didn't send it. They sent the wrong thing. What they sent instead was this. And even I know about this. I don't know anything about Sugar Pill, but I know that this was really hard to find. And I don't know how these guys had it in stock. But they did, and I was like, okay, well, I called, it was Berserk. I called Berserk and told them that they had screwed up. This isn't actually what we ordered, and they said, well, send it back, do a return to sender, and then we'll send you the Pop Funko instead. So we were going to do that, and he was probably going to send it back today, and then we're going to email right away saying, oh, I didn't realize that you were actually in New Zealand, so return to sender won't work. Why don't you just keep the eyeshadow and we will send the Pop Funko as well. And so I'm like, oh my God, um, the colors are quite ugly, but I'm going to keep it anyway because I love the packaging and I've been after it just for the packaging. There is maybe one to two colors here I probably will use. Uh, these are the colors on the back. So um, Ice Angel and the Inventor are the two that well, I will probably use. I'll do, I don't really know how to do swatches, but I'll attempt to do swatch. I don't really have any non-tattooed space to do a swatch on, so I'll have to just do my hand here and hope that you guys can see it. I do have Ice Angel on right now up here, but you probably can't see it. Um, it's like a shimmery blue color. Now what he got me that he wasn't sure about, and sorry it's already stained, but it's this Sugar Pill Loose Eyeshadow in Stella. This is the box that comes in. It's this cute shimmery little box. Very, very sparkly. And see, this is this is a MAC. This is the same size, this is MAC glitter, but this is the same size as their um, their loose eyeshadow as well. So this is half the size almost exactly half the size, same width, but half the size. And uh, I'd say it's probably about as strong, if not stronger. You can see the lid's already dirty, but I'm gonna see if I can show you guys the inside of it without spilling it. it makes me really nervous because it's close to the top. I um, don't know if you can see. It actually is incredibly sparkly. So what I'm going to do is on the lid here, it's just a tiny wee bit. So I'm just going to touch. There's nothing on my finger. I'm just going to barely touch one of these spots here. So... I'll even shake it off. I just have that little bit on my finger. And that's what it gives you. You can see the sparkle there. My camera doesn't like to focus, but um, you can see the glimmer on it already all the way down there's a lot 
a lot of shimmer on it. So much shimmer. And you can see just from that little tiny, there you go, from that little tiny bit I had on the tip of my finger, even that is pretty dark. And then of course you can blend it around. But you can see it's still there and it's still sparkly. This stuff is amazing. I mean, I hardly even touched it and it was that dark. So I think I am really going to enjoy this stuff. Really, really enjoy it. This is just fantastic. And he said this was about 20 something dollars. So that's not too bad. That's New Zealand, um, Australia dollars. So it'll be a bit more for us, but yeah, that's all right. So I will have to use this hand here. I have this light on hoping to help show the colors a bit more. So um, this is the Edward Scissorhands packaging. And then that's the back, of course. And you can read what it says there. So when you open it, this slides out. And it's, you know, identical, identical inside. And it's magnetized. So you open it. And these are the colors here. There's the mirror, so you can see my camera. That's my shitty camera right there. <laughs> um, so it's a pretty nice, very clear mirror. And those are the colors. So I will start with, now again, I don't know how to do swatches. I don't know if you're supposed to load it up. You're supposed to use a brush. I have no brushes. I don't even have the little thingy. So I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to start here with Home Sweet Home, the blue. I'm just going to put this down because there's no sense in telling you what it is or showing you the whole time. So the blue, wipe my finger across it twice. That's what it looks like there. On my hand, that's one, one go. I know I'm probably doing this all wrong, and if I am, I'm really sorry. I just want to share the colors with you guys, but I am not a makeup person, so, and I don't watch those kind of videos because it doesn't make any sense to me. Everybody's skin is different. This is Ice Angel. There it is on my finger. It looks white, but it's really not. It's like a shimmery kind of a blue color, a bluish white. And it is gorgeous. This is the Inventor. So it's kind of a charcoaly black color. I'll move the camera and show it closer when I'm finished. And so there it is. And this is Suburbia which is like the orange color, which I highly doubt I will ever have any use for. And on my skin, it's a bit of a reddy orange, which is quite cool. This is heart shaped cookie, which is just a kind of tan color. You can't really even see the color too well. It's right there, but you can't really it doesn't have much color to it. And lastly, this is Castle on the Hill. And this is just a dark brown color. And there it is at the end. So what I've done is I've run my finger across the palette twice. One, two, and then wiped it onto my hand. So you can see all the colors there. If it will focus, I really need a new camera. There you go. 
So as far as blendability, I'm not quite sure. They seem to stick. The colors seem to stick all right for rubbing them. They haven't faded away to nothing. The base color is still there. Um, I've seen pictures online where people do swatches and they use a primer first, which I never do. God, I couldn't even imagine doing primers first. Without doing a primer first, the color is a lot lighter. And of course, I only just lightly went just across. And so you can build it up, I'm sure, and then the colors will be a lot more vibrant. But that's, that's them. I'm super happy that I get to keep this. Don't know how often I'll be using it. I actually have on my eyes right now, I was dicking around with different makeup, but I actually have the ice one up here and in the middle here, I have sugar pill here with the collector, what was it called? The inventor over it. Um, you probably can't see. Yeah. The camera's not so great. You can't really see, but that is what I have on my eyes today. Um, just, I don't know, I was just trying out something different. Of course, this is not how I usually do my makeup at all. So I have Pretty Zombie Cosmetics and Black Cat on my lips right now. And I have uh, Manic Panic um, Blood Red in the middle. This is actually a really beautiful color. It's very, very bloody looking. Um, it's like a dark, a nice dark red. Unfortunately, it's not kiss proof and it comes off. It comes off so easily. It gets caught on your hair. It gives you whiskers. I hate it. But as you can see, this spreads out really well. So this is one of my favorites to use around my eyes because the color, it's kind of like a bruised color. And it's when it's spread like that, it stays for quite some time. So I use that on my eyes a lot. Um, I guess that's about all I have to say. I'm really, really happy with Berserk for writing their wrong and letting me keep that. Uh, it kind of sucks. I really expected them to send me a postage paid bag so that they could take their item back, which I would have been completely fine with um, because a bag wouldn't have been too much. But that palette there was like 60, 70 bucks Australia and the Pop Funko was like $18. So yeah. And of course the palette's very, very hard to find. So I'm a very happy girl today and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. I have another video to make. I don't know which one I'll upload first, but I will see you guys in a minute. Bye.